hello guys welcome to my youtube channel in this tutorial i will show you how i created this beautiful soft body animation in type flow and 3ds max so let's get started so first of all i have this body object and a wing object so now we need to convert this body to soft body for that I'm copying this body one more time and changing its name to soft soft body ref and let's hide everything expect soft body reference okay now we need a type flow in type flow let's me adjust this so you can see okay in type flow we need a birth operator in birth operator as i tested it before so i know the values we need it to zero and we need total 3000 particles and we need a position object operator and i'm selecting our sort body reference Let's hide this. Now we need a shape operator and select any 3D object like slender low res. So now we need a sorry. So now we need a physics shape operator. And also a physics bind operator. In physics bind operator, I am changing its well uh, physics bind type to rigid joint. I am enabling its uh, movement bind. Unenabling its twist settings. And as I know the values, so I am increasing much its values to spring values and damping values to 500 and also we need bind distance under the proximity bind to be 30 centimeter and we need max binds to 6 centimeter so we have our soft body but let me get our type flow object here. Okay, now let me hide these. Let me unhide my main body. I am selecting my main body and uh, in modifiers, I am selecting type flow particle skin and I am selecting our type flow. Okay, also I am applying a turbo smooth operator. In type flow, I am going into the settings and changing its time steps to 1 by 2 frame. So we have more good data. Okay, now we need. Let me unhide our wing. We need this wing to hit on this face. So for that, we need a tie icons. Let me make this. Here is okay. Let's make another copy of it and rotate it to 90 degree. I guess those are okay to me. Now I am going under the type flow. We need another operator, a birth operator. 
I am changing its values to 20 to 40, 20 start, 40 end, 40 frames. So to we need a half particle per frame. So it's mean one particle in two frames. Now we need a position icon and I am selecting over both icons or how many you have. Now we need a shape operator. In shape operator, I am selecting our wing. Let me hide this for now. So now we are. Let me unenable this event for now. So now we are generating our. Let me zoom out a little bit. Now we can generate our particles. So now we need it to move along the icon arrows. So we need a speed operator. In speed operator, we need uh, to select its direction to along icon arrows. And I am selecting our icons. And I am changing its uh, speed magnitude to 10 centimeter. So you can see they are moving really fast so now as you can see they are not colliding let me enable this event first so now you can see they are not colliding with our object so let me add another operator a rotate operator so they the wings are randomized so now we need a physics operator so physics shape operator so they can collide our soft body let me check it okay now you can see they are colliding very beautifully but they are not making any hard impact on our body so for that i am selecting our physics shape in event 2 and i am changing its mass to around 50 yes now you can see they are making some impacts even 50 is uh, way too much so i am changing it to the 40 okay okay they are working very beautiful so after some time like uh, 50 frames or uh, 70 frames We need to move them to further from our main object. So for that I am creating a sphere here on both of sides and we need a send operator. In send operator, I am selecting its timing to frame, and we need it to select 70 frames to 1000 is okay. So after 7000, we will send our particle to the new event. In new event, we need a find target operator, and let me select those targets. Sorry, let me connect uh, this send out to event 3. Let me change its uh, velocity to 100 centimeter. Simulate it first so we can check. So 
so you can see after 70 70 frames they are moving to the targets and moving away from the our face let me increase its speed to 150 centimeter speed or velocity the same thing yes that's okay this look way too much better okay here's one thing in my video you see that it's slow motion so for that I'm going into the tie flow in tie flow I'll jump into the retimer enable simulation timer and make it these frames to 80 frame because our particles are coming from 20 frames so I am changing it uh, on the 0 to 80 frames on uh, 200 frames I am changing is these values to 70 after 70 we need uh, it to the by uh, 240 frames to I guess 90 or 80 it is okay so here's the our animation so let let me show you my light setup sorry let to hide this so you can see I have three lights two on sides one on back one on top of the head and one under the back for the highlight and these are simple lights simple white light not any complicated also in particles I have a simple yellow particle not reflected one and also a texture of uh, hot wings I am applying our texture to tie flow so we have the texture on our particles hot wings and this is our camera setup so here's how it's look So I hope you like this tutorial to watch more tutorial like this please subscribe my youtube channel and like this video and share this video so more people will learn goodbye for now take care.